Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to analyze data with data bars. Now data bars are part of the conditional formatting feature in Excel. So in this example, let's say for example we have our data bars here. These are the bars that go across here, these uh, these little gradient bars here. And you can think of them as in-cell charts almost in a way. So basically if we wanted to kind of chart this data, what we would have done is insert a chart based on this data. But if we had a small enough amount of data, this table was not too large, um, and it kind of fit within a confine of your window screen, we can actually just create little bars here, these, these uh, conditional formatting bars. And this view is actually kind of nice because not only does it show the value, but within the cell it shows you kind of visual representation of that value uh, respective with the other values here. So, so let me show you how to create something like this. Let me go into the example tab here and what I have is I have the same um, set of values or same category of values. Uh, these are random number th these numbers are randomly generated. I have a random number generated command here basically generating a number between 10 and 100 and what I can do here is I can select this column here where I want my data bars and under the home tab under the styles go to conditional formatting and just go ahead and select data bars. So once I hover over here, you, you, you notice that it gives me an example of what the data bar looks like. We have our gradient fills, and then we have our solid fills. I kind of like the gradient fills. I'll go ahead and select a gradient fill. Let's go ahead and try this green data bar. So what happens now, we've got our data bar, and I, since I have that random number generated, I can uh, perform some action in my uh, Excel chart, uh, worksheet, and you can see the numbers change and the bars change too. So you can, it's reflective. Uh, the bar length is reflective of all the values here. So it kind of takes the lowest and highest and uh, adjusts the length of the bar accordingly. Now, there's some adjustments we can actually make with this bar. So if we wanted to kind of make some adjustments and we had some negative values in this bar, let's say we're talking about uh, maybe items, uh, this particular item uh, did not sell well. We actually had a, a lot of returns. And so it actually had a minus 10, right? minus 10 quantity. You can you notice now we have a little bar here that kind of shows up where we have a re visual representation that looks like it is on the negative side. So that's kind of nice, but if we didn't want it here uh, over here, we kind of want it in the middle, we also have, have adjustments that we can make. So I can go under conditional formatting and go ahead and manage rules and go ahead and double click or edit uh, this particular rule and we notice that we have this little um, button here where we have negative values and access. So let's, if we wanted to change the axis to be in the middle, we can actually do that here. So I can go ahead and select on that and under the axis settings have on the midpoint. Now there's also the fill color. Uh, usually when we're talking about uh, positive and negative, uh, usually we see green and red um, for positive and negative, but you can also change the color. Right now it's red for the negative color and we also have a border of red for that. But this is kind of the, the, the highlight I want to show here where we have a cell midpoint where we want to have it at the middle instead of having it kind of determined here uh, by Excel. So once we select that particular option, click OK, click OK, click OK here. Now it's in the middle. So it kind of gives you a little better representation of it. I can kind of um, move this a little bit. So if we have a negative value here, we can change our data bars where it reflects it accordingly. So a data bar is actually kind of a nice way to represent visually within a cell um, how the values correspond with other values. And instead of creating a chart, you can also have a kind of in-cell chart with the data bars with the conditional formatting feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.